What's up guys and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. Since the last episode, I did actually do a live stream on this game, but before you get upset, I had some rules, okay? There were some stipulations, first of which, no new products. Second, no new expansion. It's the same layout that we had before. And third, no new shelves, fridges, freezers, anything like that. So the only thing that's changed is we have $4,000 at our disposal today. And I'm very excited to just blow all of our money. But if you did miss the live stream, make sure to subscribe to 2G2, my second channel. You can check out every single stream VOD over there. Now that we have our shameless self-promotion out of the way, the first thing I want to do, like I said, is spend some money. So I'm actually going to pay our bills for today just kind of get those out of the way and then i want to i want to purchase storage we've had this wait eight hundred dollars oh that's section two we've had this door for quite some time this door now works got you okay so if we bought section two i'm guessing we could unlock this door maybe that's the way that it works let's try it another eight hundred dollars Yikes. Okay, already down to 2300 It didn't work! It didn't work! So there's $1,600 down the drain already, but it's okay. You know what? Realistically, I think having the storage could be nice for us. But now, let's continue buying some stuff. Starting with an expansion. Section 4 of the main shop that's going to be $1,300 leaves us with only $1,000 left. And I, I was grinding for maybe two hours during that stream. We made quite a bit of money, but it, it doesn't seem to have lasted us as long as I was hoping for. Wait, I didn't even look at what was expanded. Oh, okay. So we've got this little corner back here now. Uh, real quick before we, you know, buy more products or, or get a new license for more products as well. I'm going to try to just straighten out all these shelves. Look at this dude now we really have so much more room for activities let's hit the lights quick see how we're looking there okay yeah we could definitely use another light over there like i said before i think having some sort of a grid system that shelves and, and refrigerators and lights especially could like snap to since we don't have that luxury just yet i'm gonna try my very best to get them lined up i think that looks pretty solid okay now moving on Let's go back to management here. The next product license is going to give us juice, cola, zap, which I guess is a soda, apple juice, more milk, a different kind of milk. Oh, it's a six pack, maybe like smaller bottles and another soda. So we're actually not going to use any shelves for those, most likely. And we're probably going to end up expanding our refrigerated section. I'm kind of I'm kind of all for that. 550 bucks. Yikes. Okay, well, we've got a new license. Now we only have $483 left to buy refrigerators. And they're $200 a pop. So I might have goofed. I might have goofed on this. Let's see if we could afford one of those refrigerators and at least one box of all the new stuff. That's $279. We can afford this. However, I'm still not 100% sure that we could fit all those new items. Wow, that is a box and a half um, in just one refrigerator. But we'll find out. Let's, let's start with the fridge. We'll just slap that down here on the end. And we'll see if we can stock this with at least one of each of these items. Nope. You're telling me that a dairy product doesn't need to be refrigerated if i'm not mistaken this is milk okay okay that's fine we'll uh we'll try to buy another shelf just just for that you know i don't think we're gonna have enough money yeah they're 200 dollars a pop dang it okay well just so people don't get upset let's try to utilize one of our shelves that's just not fully stocked up. Maybe this guy. Time to knock out our prices here. So 281, let's go $3 on the orange juice. And then 281, three bones. Market price for this soda is 212, so let's do 225. $1.85 profit on that one. 
260, so we could do 275 for the uh, Sprite knockoff. And 258. Let's do 275. Can't forget about our shelf milk. That's probably going to spoil. Oh my, 1125? Okay, let's let's just match that, I guess. 1125 it is. $7.50. Pure profit. Okay, now we got to restock some of the items. Wait, I only had one loaf of bread in there. Nice. I, I was also made aware during the stream that if I just close a box, it, it now doesn't have a label on the top of the box if it's empty. You'll notice these ones that are closed that still have items in them have a label. So it, it shows you what's inside, which is kind of nice. Let's stock our spaghetti next. I've been trying to stock from the bottom shelf to the top, just purely for OCD porpoises. But it's been working well. Only $196 left. I don't know that we're going to be able to restock a lot of things, but I'm certainly still going to try. I don't think I've ever realized this before, but we have to pay for shipping, and it's $8. I mean, it's really good shipping. It's, it's literally immediate, so I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. But there we go. We've got our first order, the only order we're going to be able to place today. Let's restock, and we'll get this place opened up. We are open, officially. The shelves are looking a bit bare, but I'm hoping that everything will, will go okay for us. Morning, sir. Just coming in for your cheese. I respect that, 100%. Something else that took place during the stream uh, was chat was helping me name some of our patrons, some of our clientele. So, tattoo lady over here, I believe her name was Cecilia, or Cece for short. One of the mods started to spiral out of control with stripper names, and it, it got bad fast. Cece, my girl. Three things of cheese. Two two liters. I believe they're liters, not, not gallons, of milk. And some soda. 25 cents is your change. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. There are still plenty of people that we need... Uh, names for. So if you have any recommendations or suggestions, make sure to drop them down in the comments. Try to leave a description of what the person looks like and not just, their name should be Carl, or something like that, because I have no idea who you're <laughs> who you're referring to. This is Sergio. I think I actually decided that name. He just, he looks like a Sergio to me. 53.75 for you today. Sergio or Sergey? would would work as well this is karen obviously i don't think i even need to explain why her name is karen you just you get it i am kind of thinking that it might be about time that we hire christopher back he's on unpaid leave right now but he doesn't mind i know i know he doesn't mind we've had this conversation i don't know how many times now very understanding that guy a hundred dollars Thanks. Thanks for that. You got your twin here, too. You guys shopping together? That's great. 50, 70, 80, 5, 6 on the nose. Thank you so much. Okay, people are buying a lot of stuff today. I think the highest dollar amount spent is now $115? I believe that's the, that's the current in-store record. I'd have to watch the stream back uh, to know for sure, but pretty sure that's right. God, these people, dude, they are cleaning us out. Where is Christopher when we need him? We're, we're about halfway through the day, though, so I think we got this. 9.50. All right. This is gonna this is gonna give me a, a decent enough window, I think, to head back into management and get Christopher in here. There we go. He's gonna take over. Now we can just kind of focus on keeping things stocked. So we definitely need more rice because we only have one left currently. Let's get that first. Uh, 
Uh, what was on this shelf again? Pasta. The, the penne pasta. We're good on spaghetti. Okay, we need some more flour as well. It's already 9 p.m. I can't even place an order right now. We're going to have to do that in the a.m. But people are getting a little upset with Christopher because the line is too long. They can't get in there to queue up. This lady, she's about had it. I think she's just going to dip out with her stuff here before too long. Something else I think we should maybe do is get another checkout, another register. That way we can man one, Christopher can man one, and we'll just kind of double time. I think it'll be quite a bit better. This lady's name is still Sugar. Confirmed. It's It's got to stay. One hour later. Christopher, my man, uh, hurry it up, please. The, these people have places to be. They have families they need to get home to. Waiting on you, Christopher. There it is. Wait, couldn't find... Oh, couldn't find the pasta. Yeah, we're sold out. Hey, sorry about that, sir. Come back tomorrow. We're hopefully going to have some. Maybe. Hey, good work today, Christopher. I know I don't give you a lot of credit, but you, you did okay. You're just so dang slow. Next order is going to cost us $216, but let's finish out the day. Ooh, products not found seven. That is too many. That is one too many, if I'm being honest. And we lost $2,400. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, orange juice is up, bread is down, and cheese is up. That is now $4. Oran juice is going to be three fifty. Got to do it. $3.50. And then what else was it? Bread. Bread has gone down now to three twenty-five dollars per loaf. After buying one of everything, except that soda right there, we have $843 left. So let's get all this stuff restocked, and we'll see what we can do after that. Yikes. That is a big yikes, Christopher. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want to buy another cashier spot, but those are what? $500. So that's that's not going to happen. We do still need another shelf for our shelf milk. We don't have that placed in here just yet, so I'll probably get one of those and then ideally I would like to expand our refrigerated section even more. So let me just get one more refrigerator. That's $400 already. What else do we need? Like, really, really need? Pasta, more penne for sure. The expensive flour. Maybe some more of this flour. Maybe some more cereal. I can't believe it took me this long to realize why this flower is more expensive than this flower, even though they're probably exactly the same. It's because this is a, this is a supreme brand deal. It's a supreme collab. It says so right here on the label. I, I mean, I knew they sold bricks, but flower, that's, that's new. That is news to me. Anywho, I think we're finally ready to open up the doors, even though we can't ever close this door. You know what I mean. It's a, it's a figure of speech. We're ready for the day. And Christopher is going to man the helm here. Check all the customers out. It's going to be good. All right, Christopher. First customer of the day. He has one item. Let's do this quickly. Change. Nice. That was good. Next restock, I'm thinking more powdered sugar, uh, more coffee, and probably more shelf milk. 
I hate to say it, but it is it is a good cellar. Trying to make a little bit more space in here, so we'll have more room for more refrigerators. Keep in mind these two over here, they're they're supposed to have just one item like the other ones do in each refrigerator, but this one's a little scattered right now, so I'm, I'm trying to clean that up. But I had to start a, a middle row here, a, a double-sided shelf area. I think it's gonna work well. The customers don't seem to mind like walking around a little bit more. But let's go into furniture. We're definitely gonna need two more refrigerators, along with all the stuff that we're still needing to restock. There we go. We have $164 now. Christopher, let's pick up the pace, brother, all right? We've got quite the line forming already. Christopher, look around, dude. All these people just standing around, not knowing what to do because they, they can't check out. Yeah, we need to, we need to get enough. Well, wait, we have enough money. We actually have, well, if we do it now, we're not going to have enough money to restock the products. I think we're going to have to wait one more day, unfortunately. And I might actually just fire Christopher on the spot. I'll let him finish up this last order. Got to wait for the ka -ching. There it is. All right. Fired. Done. Finished. Canned. Sorry about the wait, guys. Uh, we've been training some new staff. You and you get it. Sir, you are short money. So, do you have another dollar fifty, or do we just have to let you walk out the door? You know what? Over a dollar fifty, I don't care. Be gone. Now he's holding up the whole rest of the line. All right, some more cash. Change is gonna be eight dollar twenty-five. Gotcha. All right, some OJ. Nice. 1050 for you. Have a good one. The last customer of the day. Five dollars. Thank you so much, sir. All right. We've done it. But the shelves are bare. Christopher is gone. It's just us and fourteen hundred dollars now. So we've gotta figure out some way to, to make this work. I'm gonna pay our bills too, just so that doesn't sneak up on us tomorrow. But let's finish out the day since we can't order anything else. Products not found two, products found expensive four, satisfied customers 34. $24 is our total profit. Cereal is up. Cereal is up good. $7.80. We can charge $8 for a box of cereal now. That's insane. Once again, after just purchasing one of each of the items that we stock, we only have $771 left. But I'm going to try to figure this out, iron that out. We've got two additional refrigerators now, so we should be good. Let's see how this goes. I gotta order some dang food, dude. Stocking all these shelves, especially in the morning, just makes me so hungry. There we go. Yeah, it feels feels like a, feels like an Applebee's kind of day, wouldn't you agree? Now, before we open her up for the day, I think we should probably restock a couple of items. Basically, if the product isn't at least up to the third tier shelf, I think we should probably order some more of it. So we've got we've got a couple of things, especially the shelf milk. We know that's a hot commodity. Literally, because it's not refrigerated.
And just like that, we are officially ready for yet another day here at the supermarket. But no Christopher today. I've decided to give him an extended unpaid leave and we will be captaining the ship. Come on, guys. It's it's already past 10 a.m. and nobody's even walked up to the counter yet. Hey, sir. How we doing? Good. You find everything okay? Perfect. Love, love to hear that. You know, maybe this isn't truly milk at all. Maybe it's like a baby formula or something. That's the only explanation that I can come up with as to why it's on a shelf and not in a refrigerator. Good afternoon, sir. Just one thing of flour for you. All right. $2.50. How we doing? You kind of remind me of like Pee Wee Herman a little bit. Maybe we call you Pee Wee. Wait, you're the guy whose dog got addicted to crack cocaine. How's he doing? Better? Ugh. See, this is the one time. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that very much. This is the one time where it's actually acceptable to pay me with a $100 bill. Because your total was $99.50. 50 cents is your change. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stuff and things or whatever. There's 27 bones on card. This is going to be 16. Thank you, ma'am. Couldn't find... Oh... Uh, she couldn't find the shelf milk. Dude, why is that such a hot commodity? I mean, it, it has to be baby formula. It just it just has to be. Thank you for the exact change. And again, okay, we need uh, we need two shelves then, I think, for uh, for the shelf milk. Sergio, good to see you again, brother. How's the family? Okay, didn't really feel like talking today. How are you doing today, though, ma'am? Find everything okay? Right on. Glad to hear it. $2.75 is your change. And the twins. The twins are back. Good to see both of you. I haven't been really paying any attention whatsoever to how all of our shelves and refrigerators and everything is looking. Honestly, not as well. Not as bad as I was expecting. But let's help this guy out. Just some pasta for you. All right. $3.50 on a card. Thank you so much. I gotta help this guy out as well. Tons of soda. Once again, on card, 43.25. Gotcha. Couldn't find... Is that the supreme flower? Oh. Yeah, it's because this guy took it all. Got a bit of a supreme fanboy over here. Hey, no shame. No shame whatsoever. What's going on, brother? You having a good day? Good. Glad to hear it. Why are you looking down? Oh, he was... He was giving us one of these... I see ya. A little sassy today, huh? 75 cents is your change. Thank you, sir. Looks like just three more customers, and that'll be our day finished up. On card today, 37.25. Have a good one. Couldn't find... Why did he need the baby formula? Maybe he's maybe he's grabbing it for the family. I guess that's, that's not so weird. Maybe like an old dude comes in here and gets only baby formula. He'd be like, what, what's going on here, brother? Uh, but that, yeah, that checks out. Karen, good to see you. Thanks for being our last customer of the day. Any complaints whatsoever? You need to voice any of your concerns? Good. Must be a good day if, if a Karen isn't doing her Karen thing. Ma'am, could I interest you in some groceries? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're done for the day. 1998. And that was a good year, ladies and gents. I remember it well. Let's finish out our day. 27 satisfied customers. Oh, total customers though, 39. So they're they're not satisfied if they find or if they don't find products or if they find products to be expensive. That makes sense. $657 though for completing that day. Flour is up, both flours are up. Uh, oil is up and rice is up as well. Unfortunately, I do think that's where we're going to have to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.